Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just under six months away from its official release by director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So what's really great about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie really is going to deliver when it comes to all of the different twists and turns and the reveals in this film that's going to make us view both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens in a different light. Now the thing about that is that we do know that also J.J. Abrams is using a lot of Legends material as a way to really insert a lot of callbacks to the EU back in the 1990s and the early 2000s. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of one of the sequences based within the first act of the film where it's described that Rey is inside of a crystal cave where she is meditating. It's described that next to Rey is a large backpack full of relics and artifacts that she took from Luke Skywalker's hut on Ahch 2 during the events of The Last Jedi. It's described that one of the objects that Rey goes through is the manuscript of Darth Plagueis that Luke owned and kept locked away, where Rey learns about new truths of the dark side. It's described that within the manuscript that Rey discovers is that Plagueis had knowledge of the beyond and the origins of the dark side of the Force, and even new secrets of the origins of the galaxy. The manuscript of Plagueis is said to be an easter egg to Star Wars Legends material that J.J. Abrams wanted to insert into the plot. Additionally, the manuscript is said to reveal that Plagueis even knew the power of force projection and essence transfer through his master Niall Wren. The manuscript is said to appear dated where the pages appear discolored and ripped on the edges, where Luke was said to discover the manuscript through one of Palpatine's vaults. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now we do know that this movie is going to have a lot of easter eggs just like this that are going to serve as great callbacks to Star Wars Legends. Now what do I make about Star Wars Legends being a part of Episode 9 and parts of it becoming canon? I think it's a step in the right direction by Disney and Lucasfilm acknowledging Legends material, but at the same exact time, you know, they really do need to stay true to the core EU, the core expanded universe, and what it really was if they are going to use a lot of those elements in episode 9. And this by far is probably one of the more accurate pieces. Now the manuscript of Darth Plagueis was a big thing in Star Wars Legends. It basically was a book that Plagueis wrote himself that really listed all of the different abilities that he knew of and a whole lot more. Except in this scenario, and this is where the differences come into play, is where yes it does tap into some of the powers that Plagueis knew such as force projection and essence transfer, but it also taps into and the revelation of Darth Plagueis actually knowing the origins of the galaxy as well as the beyond that led to the origins of the dark side of the force. Now what I like about this is that this really connects to the beyond once again. In case you guys are just tuning in right now, the beyond is really going to be a major backdrop for episode 9. It's going to serve as a a key part of the plot that's going to push many of the characters like Rey and Kylo Ren forward in this story. Now to this very day we're still not quite sure exactly down to the T here exactly what the beyond really is. Is it a different dimension? Is it a different realm? We're not quite sure. It could be a different star system for all we know. But other than that, we do know that the Beyond is the center of the origins of the Dark Side as well as exactly where the galaxy started. Now, additionally on top of all of this, how they're really inserting a lot of these Easter eggs related to some of the Legends characters as well as some of the canon characters, I think is excellent. And when they look at Darth Plagueis and they're using a lot of the Legends materials such as the manuscript of Darth Plagueis being unveiled and how Luke Skywalker Skywalker once owned this in his hut on Octu. I think it really does, you know, kind of give us more depth into the character of Luke and where he's been and what he's discovered throughout the years after the events of Episode 6 and where that all could really lead to. And the fact that it's now in the hands of Rey because we do know that she's trying to learn the secrets of both the dark and the light to create a brand new order that is basically going to be flawless, right? And there's a lot of hints and or indicators out there that the new order may very well be this Skywalker Order or something around those lines where the Jedi are going to end and any kind of force wielder could just be called a Skywalker. 
that's a very big possibility. So, J.J. Abrams, you know, we do know that this movie is very important to him. He's really trying to make this movie the best of the sequel trilogy, which honestly I think is doable. I think that he can do it. You know, I think that at this point in time, there is a great potential for this movie to really be the best of this current trilogy, given that The Force Awakens really was a beat for beat of A New Hope, yet also very entertaining in my eyes. The Last Jedi I had a lot of issues with, and now Episode 9, it's going to have a lot of nostalgia and callbacks to Star Wars Legends, which is really, really exciting, I must add, I gotta say. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.